everyone. Today's class is called All About Those Hips, About Those Hips. And today I have with me my student spotlights. Woo! We have Jenny, Greg, and Heather. Let's get a little excited, people. <laughs> so today's class, the hips. We're going to mobilize, stabilize, strengthen, and stretch the hips and bringing the hips in their ranges of motion, flexion, extension, external rotation, internal rotation, abduction, adduction, circumduction, and then freeing up the tissues above the pelvis to assist with creating greater hip mobility. So enjoy, and let's get started. So come onto your back. Bend the knees, feet are hip width apart, and let's feel that triple S, the back of the skull, shoulder blades, and sacrum, pressing into the floor. Make sure you lengthen the back of your neck so that chin becomes neutral to the floor. Take your block, middle width, and put it between your thighs and gently squeeze the block. This activates your adductors, which will engage the pelvic floor and then your transverse abdominis. Press through the feet, engage your glutes, and then lengthen the tailbone towards your heels. It's a slight posterior tilt and lift the hips up into a low bridge. So zip up the pubic bone, knit the ribs in, and then hug your glutes here. Reach the arms up to the ceiling as if you're pushing the ceiling away. Take your left hand and pull the right fingers back where the fingers meet the palm to stretch out your right wrist. And then begin small little pulses of the hips up and down. Beautiful. Stop the pulses, but keep the hips lifted and switch hands. Keep your belly drawing down and those ribs knitted, and then pressing through the big toe mounds, lift and lower your heels. Mindful not to rock out on the pinky side of your foot. Keep a gentle squeeze of the block and keep those glutes fired up. Lower the heels, release the arms down by the side. Stay lifted, but take the block out of the way. And then bring your right foot so it's in line with your right hip. Press into that right foot, turn on the right glute, and lift the left knee over the left hip in a 90 degree angle. Now keep your pelvis level and steady here, and begin external and internal rotation of the left thigh. So external rotation, the knee turns out, foot turns in. And internal rotation is the knee turns in, foot turns out. Now corkscrew that left thigh within the hip socket. Bring it back to neutral, cross the left ankle over the right knee in a figure four. Make sure that the hips stay level, that you're not opening up that knee so much that the hips drop to the left. Press through that right glute, think of that right hip point moving up towards that right knee. Then bring the knee back in and set it down. Woo! Left glute on, right knee over the right hip. Hold strong and steady here and externally and internally rotate. Keeping your pelvis nice and level, firing that left glute. At any time you can lower the hips if you need to. Next time you're in external rotation, stay there and bring the right ankle over the left knee into your figure four. Left glute on, that left hip point lifts up. Bring that right knee back into neutral and set it down. And then sequentially lower the spine, upper back, middle back, and lower back. Grab your block, take the block the thinnest way between your knees. Bring your feet to the ground, and hands behind the back of your skull. Beautiful. Now bring the knees up over the hips, and keep the knees bent. 
Now you want to feel your sacrum press down, the back ribs press down. Really knit those ribs together, draw the belly down. Inhale, exhale, lift the shoulder blades off of the mat without pulling on your neck. So there's a softness there. Draw that front body down. Extend the left leg straight to the ceiling. Bend the knee, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Draw the front body in. Extend the right leg straight. Bend the knee. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Left leg extends. Turn the right thigh into internal rotation. So the knee will turn in towards the block. The foot will come out. Come back to neutral. Bend the left knee. Inhale and lower. Keep the elbows in. Exhale, lift up. Look towards that block. Right leg extends. Left thigh internally rotates. The knee turns into the block. Come back to neutral. Bend the knee. Inhale and lower. Feel those back ribs connect. Exhale, lift up. Left leg extends. Right knee internally rotates. Now turn an inch to the left into a little twist to keep the left shoulder blade off of the ground. Come back to center. Right foot neutral. Bend the left knee. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Right leg extends. Left thigh internal rotation. Inch twist to the right. Stay off of that right shoulder blade. Come back to center. Left foot neutral. Right knee bends. Inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Left leg extends. Right knee internally rotates. Now twist an inch to the right. Come back through center, right leg neutral, bend the left knee, inhale and lower. Exhale, lift up. Last one. Right leg extends, left thigh in inter internal rotation, and turn to the left about an inch. Come back to center, left leg neutral, right knee bends, inhale and lower. Woo! Bring your feet down, remove the block. Take your feet mat width apart and knock your knees in here. Feel the length of your tailbone towards your front of the mat. And then reach the arms either in goal post or straight to the side, whichever your shoulders allow. We're gonna carry the legs over to the left. So the left thigh will open to the left, come on the outer edge of the left foot, and you're on the inner edge of that right foot. So I'm not dumping that right knee all the way down. There's a pressure into the inner arch of that right foot. So press that down, engage the right glute so you feel the glute lift up into your right frontal hip point. And keep the right ribs knitted in and just breathe into that right side body. If you want to turn your head right and left just to feel good there in the neck, release some tension there. Beautiful, come back to center. Lower the right thigh to the right, the left knee comes in a little bit, but again, press into the inner arch of that left foot, engage the left glute so you feel that hip lift up into the frontal hip point. Knit those left ribs and breathe into the left side body here, the left front ribs. And again, maybe looking right and left. Come back to center if you're looking right and left, and then come back up. Heel toe your feet in, bend the knees, rock up, come into quadruped. So quadruped, hands, wrists right underneath your shoulders, wrist creases parallel to the front of the mat, knees underneath the hips. Feel that connection of the back of the skull, shoulder blades, and sacrum. So we're in one long line here. And then knit those ribs together, drawing the belly in without rounding your back. A fire hydrant to the left. So the knee stays bent, and we take that left leg into abduction into fire hydrant. Out. Bring that leg back in. Now internally rotate that right thigh. The right foot will kickstand out. We're going to step the left foot to the back of the mat, turn the toes to the back of the mat. The left knee is bent, and then the left elbow comes up to the ceiling with the palm in front of your face, and the palm faces away. Let the right ear release. Push through that right hand. Good. Left hand down. Left knee down. Right quadruped. Right 
a fire hydrant. Excuse me. Right leg down. Internally rotate the left thigh. Kick stand the left foot. Open the right foot to the back of the mat. Knee is bent. Right elbow comes up. Left ear releases. Right hand down. Right knee down. Left fire hydrant. Bring it in. Turn the right thigh in. Step the left foot back with a bent knee like warrior two. Left elbow reaches up. You will see this more in the flow. Left hand down, left knee down. One more time. Right fire hydrant. Bring it in. Internally rotate the left thigh. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Turn the toes, right elbow up. Right hand down, back into quadruped. Bring your forearms down for dolphin. Now if your forearms are able to be parallel, that's great, if not, Clasp your hands. Get your elbows underneath your shoulders. Let the head release between your arms. Push through the forearms and prod in between the shoulder blades. Option to stay here or lift the knees up. Walk the feet in for dolphin. Beautiful. Press through the arms. Now fill up the back body with your inhale. And exhale, consolidate the front. Now your option is to stay here. Or lower the knees and come back into quadruped like Jenny is doing. Inhale your left leg up behind you, hip height. Bend the knee. Circle the hip. Bring the knee in, out, and around. In, out, and around. In, out, and around. Good. Reverse it. Go the other way. Back up. Push through those forearms. Nice steady breath. Last one, step that left foot down. If you have to rest in between, you can lower your knees. Or meet us back into dolphin and let the right leg lift. Bend the right knee and circle the hip. In, out, and around. In, pelvis stays level. In, out, and around. Beautiful, go the other way. Back up, out, and around, up, out and around, one more. Up, out and around, step that foot down, lower your knees, come into quadruped, take a deep breath in here. Exhale, cat, push away, draw the belly in, really broad in between the shoulder blades. Inhale, pull through for cow, but keep your core on, don't over lift your chin, pull the hands back. Exhale, push away, lift up into downward facing dog. Roll the toes, lift the knees, downward dog. Beautiful, have some buoyancy in the knees, equal weight in your hands and feet. You wanna think of the hip creases going up and the front body drawing in. Walk your hands back towards your feet, lower the heels, keep the torso over your thighs, and then inhale, sit back to rise up. Beautiful, bring your hands to the tops of your thighs, Triple flexion. Bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, keep your spine long. Slide your hands down your thighs to your ankles. Long spine, shoulders move down the back here. Inhale, rise back up. Engage the glutes, press the hips forward, keep the front body knitted. Bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, sit back. Keep the neck in line, rise back up. Engage the glutes, press the hips forward. One more time, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips. And rise up, and then walk to the front of the mat. Sun Sal, one. Inhale, reach your arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, plant the hands. Step your right foot back, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, arms lift. Now press your right foot down, engage the right glute, and pull the left foot back. Now remember, zip up your pubic bone, Knit the ribs and hug the glute. Plant the hands, step back into plank. Shoulders over the wrists, throat is lifted, glutes on, thighs strong. Lower the knees right where you are, and in one piece, lower to the floor, keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted. Inhale, pull the chest through for cobra, so I'm pulling my hands back, feel those ribs knit in, ha. Curl the toes, lift up, Downward facing dog, walk your feet in just a little bit. Take a deep 
breath in dog. And exhale, step your right foot forward, lower the knee, top of the foot. Inhale, rise up. Press that left foot down, arms lift, left glute on, pull the right foot back. Exhale, plant the hands, step the left foot forward, sit back into those hips, and inhale, rise up with a long spine. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, fingertips plant, step your left foot back, lower the knee but not the toes. Inhale, rise up, right hand on your sacrum, left arm up to the ceiling. Now inhale, reach up here, really wrap that left glute down and pull the right foot back. Hands plant. Plank. Dial your hands as if you're like turning on plates, but they don't really move. Pull back. Hold your core strong. Loose. Inhale. Exhale. Lower the knees and lower to the floor. Keep the fronts of the shoulders lifted away from the floor. Inhale. Pull through for cobra. Pull those hands back. Engage the glutes. Ribs in. Exhale. Curl. Lift. Down dog. Walk your feet in a little. Deep breath in, exhale, step that left foot forward, lower the knee, not the toes. Left hand behind your sacrum, right arm up. Really feel those ribs knitting in, wrap that right glute, pull the left foot back. Hands plant, step that right foot forward, sit back into your hinge, long through the spine, inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, plant the hands. Step your right foot back, lower the knee but not the toes. Right hand plants under your shoulder on the floor of the block. And turning from the ribs, open up to the left for a modified twisted crescent. Now push through the right hand, a little bit dial out and pull back. Let the right ear release. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach the left arm over your ear to the front of the room. Breathe into that left side, that left lower back. Inhale, arm reaches back up. Take stand the right foot to the right, left leg goes back, modified side plank. Option to keep the leg down or lift it up. And begin pulsing here into abduction. Keep the right glute on, pressing the right hip forward and consolidate that front body back. Bring the left knee to the belly as you step that left foot forward, rise up to the right side of your mat. Goddess arms, goddess legs. Now zip up your pubic bone here, knit your ribs, and hug those sit bones together. Just opening up this front body with the chest, because all of this is connected. It's all connected fascially. Turning to the back of the mat, so to your right, plant the hands, pivot the back foot, right leg lifts, three-legged down dog. Bend the right knee. Circle the hip like we did in dolphin. Right knee in, out, and around. In, out, and around. One more. In, out, and around. Bring it in. Keep pushing through those arms. Back, out, and around. Back, out, and around. Back, out, and around. Step that right foot down. Lower to quadruped, hands and knees. Make sure your wrists and knees are in line under the shoulders and the hips. Coming back into that fire hydrant and stargazing. Left fire hydrant. Keep your pelvis level. Down, turn the right thigh in. Right foot kicks out. Left foot to the back of the mat. Left elbow reaches up. Left hand down, left knee down, right, fire hydrant. Left thigh turns in, left foot out, step the right foot to the back of the mat, right elbow lifts. Right hand down, right knee down, left fire hydrant. Right thigh turns in, step the left foot to the back, left elbow up. Left hand down, left knee down. One more time, right fire hydrant. Turn that left thigh in. Open the right foot, right elbow up. Stay here. Maybe reach the right arm over your ear to the back here. Beautiful, watch those ribs. 
Lower the right hand, right knee. Downward facing dog. Again, really press through those feet. Lift under the armpits, lift under the front ribs, and lift those hip creases up. Other side, take a deep breath in. And exhale, step that right foot forward, lower the knee, not the toes. Left hand underneath the shoulder on the floor of the block. Inhale, open up to the right. Modify twisted press it. Now push through that left hand, pull back, and hug your right outer hip back. Hold those front ribs steady. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reach the right arm over your ear. Really pull back on that right side and breathe into those right lower ribs. Hmm. Reach the right arm back up to the ceiling. Maybe kickstand the left foot to the left as you reach the right leg back into modified side plank. Now the right foot can stay down if you need. And pulse that right leg here. Keep the knee and the toes pointed to the right here. Gaze can be down or right in front of you, but don't crank the neck up. Step the right foot to the right, or to the front of the mat, excuse me. Open up to the left. Goddess, pulse here. Ah. Zip up, knit, and hug around those sit bones. It's really activating adductors. Pelvic floor, transverse abdominis. Working these glutes, external rotation. Turning back to the left, to the front of the mat. Plant the hands, pivot the back foot, three-legged down dog, left leg lifts behind you. <sighs> Bend the left knee, circle the hip. Bring it in, out, and around. In, out, and around. In, out, and around. Bring it in, take it the other way, back, up, out, and around. You're going to see this again later on while we'll be doing it standing. Back up, out, and around, and step that foot down lower into quadruped. Right quadruped, find that neutral spine here. Right fire hydrant, I meant. Right fire hydrant, down, turn the left thigh in, step the right foot to the back of the mat, right elbow up. Right hand down, right knee down. Left fire hydrant. Down, turn the right thigh in. Step the left foot to the back of the mat. The left foot's like in a warrior two. Left hand down, left knee down. Right fire hydrant. Bring it in. Turn that left thigh in. Open the right foot to the back of the mat. Elbow lifts. Let the left ear release. Right hand down, right knee down. Left. Fire hydrant, bring it in, right thigh turns in, step the left foot to the back of the mat, hold it here. Now press through that right arm, maybe reach the left arm over the ear to the front of the roof. Woo. Lower the left hand, lower the left knee, downward dog. Hmm. Nice deep breaths here, maybe pedal out the feet, bend one knee and then the other. Don't collapse into the armpits or into those ribs. Really keep everything knitting, pulling together and in. Come back, take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, sit back to rise up, sun sal A. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, hands plant under the shoulders. Keep the shoulders there as you step back into plank. Find your alignment. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. Inhale, pull through for cobra. And exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a little bit. Take a deep breath and dog. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, plant the hands under the shoulders, step back into plank. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way or halfway. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog, and walk your feet in a little bit. Deep breath and dog. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump 
up to the front. Inhale, sit back, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, plant the hands, step back into plank. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way or halfway. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in dog. Exhale, bend the knees, walk or jump to the front of the mat. And inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, tap the fingers, rise up, right knee to belly. Left glute activated, zip up your pubic bone, knit the ribs, lower the foot. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back, tap. Inhale, rise up, left knee to belly. Lower the foot. Exhale, bend, hinge, tap. Rise up, right knee to belly. Bring your arms into goal pose, keep those ribs knitted in. And then external and internal rotation here. Gonna fire up that left glute, pull up into that left quad. Come back to neutral, step that right foot back, crescent lunge. Bend that back knee as much as you need to to keep that pelvis right underneath you. So feel that zip up here, knit in, and hug. Bring your left hand behind the back of your sacrum, reach the right arm up. Take a deep breath in, reach up higher here. Now exhale, tilt forward into tilted crescent. Keep your ribs knitted, right glute, right quad on, right hand to the top of the left thigh, left hand to the outer left hip. Now you can shift forward and come onto your tippy toes here. You can hover the right leg or you can lift the right leg up hip height. Keep the right glute on, right quad strong, head in line with the rest of the spine. Lower the hands to the floor, so walk down your legs and plant the hands, grab locks if you need to, or you're on fingertips. But keep the spine long, this is standing L. Soften the chest to the thumbs, and then isometrically pull the hands back like you're doing cobra. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, bend the right knee, internally rotate that thigh, just tuck it behind the left heel to sit to the left side of your mat. Now, if you're not able to cross, stretch that right leg out in front of you. Take your left arm out to the left, inhale, right arm up to the ceiling, and exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, right hand to the side, left arm up. Exhale, side bend to the right. Watch that you don't bring that right shoulder up into the ear. Inhale up. Unwind to the back of your mat. Plant your feet and your hands. Your fingers can be forward towards your butt or out to the sides of the mat. Now knit your ribs here. Zip up your pubic bone. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, lift for reverse table. Engage the glutes, draw that belly down, press through the hands. Now keep the shoulders centrated as you inhale, tap the butt down. Exhale, lift it up, engage, integrate. Exhale, tap. Don't throw your necks back, inhale up. Well, your neck, because you only have one. Exhale, or inhale, tap. Exhale, lift, hold it here. Stay here, or option to lift the left foot up, externally rotate, come into figure four. Now again, you don't want that left knee to drop in the pelvis spin. Keep the hip points level. Lower the left foot, lower the hips. Turning to the left side of your mat, plant your hands, step your right foot forward, turn to the left, parallel your feet, and side lunges here. Sit back into those hips. Now your hands can be on fingertips, on blocks. Your hands can be on your thighs, shins, or hips. We want to maintain the length of the spine and the knitting of the front body. You want the hips to go back, not the knee to go forward. Opening up the adductors. Stretching the adductors, strengthening the adductors. 
Next time you're over to the left, stay to the left. Right hand to the floor of the block under your right shoulder and twist open to the left into a twisted side lunge. Now push through the right hand and lean away from that left leg. Let the right ear release. Lower the left hand. Stay long in the spine, open in the chest. As we walk to the front of the mat, pivot the back foot. Hands plant, plank. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. Inhale, pull through for cobra, a little baby cobra here. Now keep the toes curled under. Bend your left knee to a 90 degree angle. Keep your frontal hip points on the ground and begin pulsing that left thigh up and down. Now, if you don't want to keep here into a low cobra, you can place your forehead on top of your hands. But keep your right leg strong, keep your belly drawing in. Now, as if you're going through molasses, straighten that left leg. Lower, push up to the knees or through plank. Downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet into happy squat. Sit back into the hips. Torso is long over the thighs here. And now just let the head hang. Little traction, maybe grab opposite elbows. Oh. Should feel really good here. And then as we rise up, sit back, reach the arms forward and up, lengthen through that spine, and bring your hands to your hips. Straight leg, hip circle, so we're doing circumduction. So you're gonna transfer the weight onto your right foot, right leg. Left leg will come into hip flexion. And then open out to the side into abduction. The knee and the toes stay pointed forward. Take it to the back. It turns in a little bit into internal rotation and extension. Now sweep it forward, back into flexion. Take it back into extension. Out to the side, back to the front, step it forward. Right leg, flexion, sweep it through. Zip up here, out to the side. Keep the knee and the toes pointed to the right. And, or to the front, I should say, back into extension. Sweep it through. Take it back into extension. Out to the side without lifting your hip. Back to the front. Step it forward. And step the left foot next to the right. Other side. Inhale, reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips. Tap the hands, rise up, left knee to belly. Activate that right glute, really zip up that front body. Lower the foot, exhale, bend the knees, hinge back. Rise up, right knee to belly. Lower the foot, exhale, bend the knees, hinge back. Inhale, rise up, knee to belly. Goal post your arms. <sighs> and external, internal rotation here. Coming back to neutral, step that left foot back, crescent lunge. Left glute activated. Take your right hand behind your sacrum, left arm up to the ceiling, and really stretch that left arm up. Keep that left glute on, and tilted crescent, shift forward, long thigh, that left thigh, is, the quadricep is activated, left glute is on, ribs are engaged, neck is in line with the rest of the spine. Left hand to the front of your right thigh, right hand to the outer hip. Shift to your tippy toes, keep your spine long. Maybe hover, maybe lift hip height. Walk your hands down your leg, standing L. So you can bring your hands on blocks, you can be on fingertips or fists, but keep a supple bend in that right knee so you can hinge that right outer hip back and pull through so I'm not rounding in my upper back. I'm creating that long spine here. Deep breath in, and exhale, bend the left knee. Internally rotate, tuck it behind the right heel, sit to the right side of your mat. And again, you can kickstand the left foot forward. Reach the right arm out to the side, inhale, left arm lifts. Keep lifting, knitting, exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, lift up, left hand to the floor, exhale, 
reach up and over to the left. Let the head release. Don't worry about looking under your armpit. There's nothing there. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale, turn to the back of the mat. Set yourself up for reverse table. Again, fingers can point forward or to the sides of your mat. Now push through those hands, knit the ribs. Inhale. Exhale, lift the hips. Turn on the glutes, pull the belly down, press through the hands. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Keep your head neutral. Exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, lift. Hold it here. Option to stay here or bring your right ankle over the left knee in your figure four. You really got to turn on that left glute, just like we did in the one-legged bridge. Lower the right foot to the floor. Lower the hips. Turning to the right, plant the hands. Step your left foot forward. Turn to the right, side lunges to the right and left, alternating. And again, fingertips, hands on blocks, thighs, hips, wherever you can maintain this neutral spine and pelvis. Keeping that neck long so I'm not looking up, tucking, letting my ribs spill towards the floor or rounding my back. Creating this neutral spine frees up space for us to move more effectively and efficiently in our hips. Next time you're over to the right, hold it to the right. Left hand on the floor of the block under your left shoulder and open up for a twisted side lunge here. Let the left ear release. Now push through that left hand. Huh. Right hand down, stay long in the spine, open in the chest, turn to the front of the mat, plant the hands, plank. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way to the floor. Inhale, pull through for a baby cobra. Bend the right knee. And then pulse here. Again, keep the hip points on the ground. Keep your belly and ribs drawing in. Keep that left glute on as well. Now, like you're going through molasses, straighten that right leg. Push to your knees or through plank, downward dog, and then walk your hands back towards your feet into your happy squat. Whew. Let the head release, maybe grab opposite elbows. Sway a little side to side if you'd like. Sit back into the hips. Inhale, rise up. Reach arms forward and up. Long spine, long spine. Woo. Unweighting your right foot. Bring your hands to your hips. And hip flexion. Right leg forward. Right leg is straight. Out to the side. In abduction. Knee toes stay pointed forward. Back into internal rotation. Into extension. And sweep that right leg through. Take it back into extension. Out to the side, back to the front, and step forward. Shift. Left leg, hip flexion. Straight leg. Zip up here. Knit. Out to the side. You can bring your hands onto your body at any time for that feedback to guide your body into that neutral posture. Sweep it through. Take it back. Out to the side. To the front, step it forward. Sun Sal L, Utkatasan Chair Pose, sit back. Plant the hands under the shoulders. Option to go to plank or down dog. If you go to down dog, stay to down dog until I say so. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, lift up, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up behind you, hip height. Coming into left low lunge. So you can step, hop step, or hop switch in midair. Lower the right knee, not the toes. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, turn to the right, side lunge to the right. Parallel your feet, sit back. 
Keep your spine long, chest open, turn back to the front of the mat, pivot your feet. Step your left foot back about six inches, plant the hands under your shoulders, lift the right leg, stand in L. Lower the right foot to the back of the mat, warrior one. Now make sure that your feet are on two separate lines. Good. Plant the hands, down dog or plank. Lower the knees or not, lower all the way or halfway, up dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog, walk your feet in. Inhale your right leg up behind you, hip height. Step, hop step, or switch in midair. Lower the left knee, not the toes. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, turn to the left. Side lunge to the left. Sit back into that hip. Turn back to the front of the mat. Plant your hands. Step your right foot back about six inches. Lift the left leg up. Lower the left foot to the back of the mat. Rise up. Warrior one. Left glute activated. Right hip hugs back. Plant the hands. Down dog or plank. If you're in plank, lower the knees or not. Lower all the way or halfway. Flip one foot at a time for up dog or cobra. Exhale, flip, flip. Down dog. You're good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knees. Walk or jump to the front. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower the arms. So now, we're going to stream all of that together. Fun! Woo! Right, guys? Woo! <laughs> awesome. So, get a drink of water. Wipe your sweat off. And here we go. We're going to go and stream all of that together. All about those hips. About those hips. Woo! <laughs> Inhale. Reach the arms forward and up. Exhale, bend the knees, hinge back in the hips, plant the hands. Step your right foot back, keep the knee lifted. Right hand on the floor of the block, underneath your right shoulder. Make sure your right hand and right foot are in alignment and in line with that left foot. Keep the right thigh on, right glute on, and then open up for twisted crescent here. Let the right ear release. Now push through the right hand, pull back. Lean into that right shoulder blade. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, thread the left hand, arm under the left leg, tap the right wrist. Inhale, rise back up, twisted crescent. Exhale, thread. Keep the spine long, maybe begin to straighten that left leg by pulling that right hand back as well. Inhale, bend the knee, open up. Exhale, thread it under, maybe pull towards straight, maybe not. Keep your spine long though. Inhale, up. Stay here. Option to begin to straighten the left leg here to revolve triangle, maybe come onto the fingertips or the block, and then really hug that left outer hip back, reach the spine forward. Beautiful. Shift back into that left bent knee, right knee lowers underneath your right hip. Open up for modified side plank. Beautiful. Option to stay here. Or bend the left knee, grab the top of the left foot, pull the heel to the butt, press the hips forward, draw the front body in. Option to stay here, or step the left foot behind you, coming into one arm table, right foot next to the left, hip width apart, and lift the hips, right shoulder over that right wrist. Great. Then we're going to lower the hips a little bit, lower the left hand, turn to the front of the mat, step the left foot forward, Stay low, goddess your legs, and pulse here. Again, your hands can be on fingertips. They can be on blocks, sitting back into the hips. You can have your hands on your thighs. If you want more of a challenge and more load, reach those arms forward. Long spine here. If your arms are up, Lower to the floor, turn to the back of the mat, pivot your feet, three-legged down dog, right leg lifts. Huh. Keeping the legs straight, lower the right leg next to the left, send it out to the side, back up and around, circumduction. Bring it in, out to the side, and up. Bring it in, out to the side, and up. Bring it in, take it back up. Up, out to the side, and 
flexion here. And up. And down. And in. Lower the foot. Lower into quadruped. Long spine. Fire hydrant, left leg. Fire hydrant out. Internally rotate that right thigh. Stargazer, step the left foot back. Left elbow up. Left hand down, left knee down. Right quad, uh, right fire hydrant. And in, turn the left thigh in. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Right elbow up. Right hand down, right knee down. Left fire hydrant. Turn that right thigh in. Step the left foot to the back. Hold here. Reach the left arm over your ear. Rise up. So keep the legs where they are. And just lift the torso up. Left forearm on the left thigh. Reach the right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Side bend to the left. It's a, a modified warrior variation. Now inhale up. Bring your left knee next to the right knee into a high kneel. Step the right foot out like you're doing warrior two. Now turn on that left glute. If your knee allows, maybe lean a little into that right knee here, right foot. Windmill to the front of the mat. Plant the hands, pivot the back foot, downward dog, three-legged down dog, left leg lifts. So we're gonna step that left foot forward, rise up, right knee to belly. You can also add your handstand hop here. Step the right foot back, lower the hands, three-legged down dog. You can also come back into crescent lunge like Jenny is doing. Step the left foot forward, rise up, knee to belly, low that left leg. Pull in, really use your hands here if you need. Step the right foot back, lower the hands, three-legged down dog. Last one, step that left foot forward, rise up. Knee to belly, arms and goal post. External, internal rotation here. Next time it's in external rotation, hold it there. Maybe come into figure four. You can keep your arms in goal post. You can bring the hands to prayer or to your shins. Long spine, neck in line. Rising back up, knee to belly, really working that left glute. Beautiful. Arms can come back to goal post, and then coming back into airplane. You can set that right leg back into crescent lunge and shift forward into airplane if you would like. Bring your right hand to your left thigh, left hand to your left hip, bend the right knee, or keep it straight. Pulse the right foot to the ceiling, Bent or straight. Straighten the leg. If it's bent, walk down to standing L. Alternating legs. You can hop switch or not. Step the right foot next to the left. Extend the left leg back. Step the left leg tips to the right. Extend the right leg back. And Right foot in, left leg back, left foot in, right foot back, hold here. Open up to the right, half moon. Right arm can be on your belly, on your hip, to the ceiling. Left knee can have a lot of buoyancy in it. Wrap that left hip under, tailbone towards your right leg. Open up to the right, warrior two. Woo, lots of left glute, gluteolicious stuff going on. Right hand to the right thigh, inhale up. Exhale, side bend to the right into reverse warrior. Coming into prayer, twisted crescent, inhale up. Exhale, pivot that back foot, hands to prayer, right elbow, left thigh. Rise back up, reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, through warrior two, inhale. Prayer, twisted crescent. Exhale. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Woo! Now your option is to stay here or shift and lift that right leg into a revolved half moon with a prayer twist. Lower the foot, lower the hands, tuck that right knee behind the left heel as you sit to the left side of your mat. 
Remember, you can kick stay on the right leg and then belly roll here. And then go the other way. Turning to the right, unwinding to the right side of your mat. Parallel your feet for those side lunges again. Now if you want to get a little hoppy, you can start going side to side. Step together, out. Step together, out. Next time you're over to the right, hold it to the right. Now, stay here. Maybe turn the left toes up so the left leg comes into external rotation. And maybe sit into Skandasana. But your heel has to stay down. You have to have that flexion in your ankle and knee and hip in order to do this. Rise up. Turn to the front of the mat. Plank. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. You have the option to come into locust or bend the knees, grab the feet for both. Again, don't over lift the chin. Keep that front body drawing in and glutes activated. Lower down, push up, down dog, and begin walking your hands back towards your feet. Sit back into those hips. Inhale, rise up. Bring your hands to your hips. Now circumduction with the left knee bent. So left thigh comes up, hip flexion, knee flexion. Now we're gonna open to the left into external rotation, abduction, and then bring it to the back, internal rotation, extension. Sweep it through, knee to belly. Bring it back, extension. Out to the side, external rotation, abduction. Back to the front, flexion, extension of the knee, straighten the leg, step the left foot forward. Right knee to the belly, hold on, use your hands. Out to the side, keep your hips level, internally rotate, bring it back into extension. Back, forward, into flexion. Take it back, out to the side, Woo! to the front. Extend the knee, straighten the leg, step the right foot forward, and step it together. Woo, take a second there, and we'll do the other side. How are you guys doing? Good. Woo. Good. Kicking booty, taking names. All right, here we go. Inhale, arms reach up. You have to have fun. Woo, exhale, bend the knees, hinge back, plant the hands. Step your left foot back, keep the knee lifted. Left hand on the floor of the block. And really lift under that left thigh. Turn on your left glute. Here we go. Twisted crescent. Just move from the wrist. Let the left ear release. Inhale. Exhale. Thread the right arm underneath the right leg. Tap the left wrist. Inhale up. Exhale. Thread. If you can keep the leg, the back long, maybe start to straighten that right leg. Inhale. Bend the knee. Open up. Exhale. Thread. Maybe straighten, long spine. Inhale, up. Exhale, thread. Maybe pull towards straight. Inhale, up. Hold it here. Now begin to straighten that right leg or not. It's okay, but you want to keep the length here of the spine. Maybe come onto the fingertips or a block. And then bend that right knee. Lower the left knee underneath the left hip. Opening up into modified side plank. You can kickstand the left foot to the left if needed. Bend the right knee, grab the top of the right foot, pull the heel to the butt for your quad stretch. Now engage the glutes, the hips are pressing forward and the belly is drawing back in the front ribs. Stay there or step your right foot back, left foot in line with the right hip width apart, shoulder over your wrist, gauge the glutes, hold the ribs in, Maybe open up the chest a little bit. Lower the hips a little bit. Bring the right hand down. Step your right foot forward. Turn to the left. Low goddess pulses. Now you can keep your hands down on fingertips or blocks or bring your hands to your thighs. 
You can also reach the arms forward, sit back even further to increase your load. Woo! If your arms are up, lower to the ground, turn to the back. Three-legged down dog, plant the hands, left leg lifts. Straight legs, circumduction. Left leg down, out to the side. Back up into extension, bring it in. Out to the side and around. Good, bring it in. Out to the side and around. Bring it in, bring it back up. Up, out, and around. And again, up, out, and around. One more time, up, out, and around. Lower to your knees, quadruped. Whew. Right fire hydrant. Internally rotate the left thigh, foot goes out, right foot steps to the back of the mat, right elbow lifts. Right hand down, right knee down, left quadruped. Right thigh turns in, foot out, left foot to the back of the mat, left elbow up. Left hand down, left knee down, right quadruped. Left thigh turns in, step the right foot to the back of the mat, elbow up, hold here. Reach the right arm over your ear. Keep your legs as they are, lift the torso over your legs. Right arm onto the right thigh, inhale, lift. Exhale, side bend to the right, really lifting up out of those ribs, out of the pelvis. Inhale, arms out to the side, bring your right knee next to the left into a high kneel stand. Left foot out to the left into a modified warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, if your knees allow, sink a little bit to the left. Really opening up that groin. Good, come back, windmill to the front of the mat, plant the hands, pivot the back foot, three-legged down dog, right leg lifts. Stepping that right foot forward, rise up, left knee to belly, really load that right glute. Lift, knee to belly. Again, use those hands where needed. Step the left foot back, hands down, three-legged down dog, we're coming to crescent lunge. Step the right foot forward, rise up, knee to belly. Spine nice and long. Woo, step it back, hands down, three-legged down dog. Right leg lifts. Last one, step it forward, rise up, knee to belly. Bring your arms in goal pose here. Knit those ribs and external internal rotation. Next time your leg is in external rotation, bend the right knee, hinge back a tiny bit for figure four. Arms can stay in goal pose. You can bring them to prayer. You can bring them to your shins. If you're able to keep a long spine and go to the floor, go for it. Like heaven. Rise up, knee to belly. Maybe bring the arms back into goal pose. Coming back into airplane. You can step back into crescent and shift into airplane if you would like, or go from up to airplane. Right hand to the right hip, left hand to the right thigh. Bend the left knee or not. Woo! And begin pulsing that leg up. Straighten that leg, walk your hands down for Standing L. Alternating. Step the left foot next to the right. You can also hop switch in the air. Right leg comes up. Step the right foot down. Left leg up. Step the left foot down. Right leg up. One more. Right leg down. Left leg up. Hold here. Open to the left. Half moon. You can come to your fingertips, hands to the block, left hand to the ceiling or hip or belly, wherever you need. Bend that right knee, wrap the right hip under, tailbone towards that left heel, really creating length in the spine. Don't worry about looking up at that arm. Lower the left foot to the back of the mat, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, reverse. So side bend to the left, lifting up under the ribs, pivoting to the front. Prayer twisted crescent, pivot that back foot. Left elbow, right thigh, long spine. Inhale, rise up, warrior two, plant that back foot. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, up. Exhale, pivot around. Prayer twisted crescent. One more time, inhale, rise up. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, up. Exhale, prayer twisted crescent. Stay here, gazes down.
Maybe shift and lift the left leg into revolve half moon with a prayer twist. I just say prayer twisted airplane because the other one is too long to say all the time. Lower the hands, tuck the left knee behind the right heel, sit to the right side of your mat, and begin to belly roll here. Again, you can kick the left leg out if you need to. We're almost done. And then go the other way. Unwinding to the left, to the left side of your mat, parallel your feet, and side lunges. Now again, you can stay low or come up and do a little hoppity hop. Right and left, step together, step out. Next time you're at the left, hold it to the left. Option to sit back into Skandasana if your ankle, knee, and hip allows. Coming back to the front of the mat, plant the hands, plank. Lower the knees or not, lower to the floor. Bring your head, forehead on top of your hands, bend the knees, and then just windshield wiper. Feet go. Both feet go to the same direction. Whew. Coming back through center, lower the legs, push up, down dog, walk your hands back towards your feet. Sit back into that happy squat. We're at the home stretch. And rise up for our ministry of silly walks. Monty Python. Bring your hands to your hips. All right, right hip flexion with knee flexion, knee to belly. Out to the side, external rotation, abduction, comes into internal rotation and then extension, sweep it forward into hip flexion. Take it back into extension, out, external rotation, abduction, back into hip flexion, there's adduction there, extend and step. Left knee to the belly. Huh. Out to the side. Take it around. Internally rotate. Bring it into extension. Keep zipping in the pubic bone and sweep it through. Take it back into extension, keeping that neutral pelvis. Out to the side. Ex external rotation, abduction. Bring it in. Ad adduction, hip flexion. Extend. Step it forward. Step it together. And do a little dance. Woo! Shake that butt. Move those hips. It's all about those hips. About those hips. Woo! <laughs> all right, yes, I'm a goofball, and I love it. Come down. And they love it too, right? Yes. <laughs> Woo! Come down onto the back. And take your left ankle over your right knee. Lengthen the tailbone so you feel the sacrum press down or your back of your pelvis. Feel the back of the ribs press. With or without your hands, lift the right thigh up, right foot up into figure four. So you can take the arms out to the side. You can goal post them. But if you would like to take your hands and clasp around your right hamstring, that's fine too. Isometrically pull your legs apart from each other. Keep the back ribs rooted, sacrum rooted. Maybe bias the legs a little bit to the right. Now you can stay here or keep the legs as they are. Just carry them over to the right. Set the left foot down. So you're pressing your left outer ankle and right top of your thigh into each other. And softening those left ribs, really breathing into this left side here. Coming back to center, lower the right foot down, lower the left foot down, right ankle crosses over left, lift the left foot up, draw that back body down, knit it all 
all together, lengthen the back of the neck, isometrically pull the legs apart, maybe bias the legs a little to the left. And then over to the left we go, plant that right foot, the outer right ankle pressing against that left upper or lower thigh there, the right above the knee. Come back up to center, lower the left foot, lower the right foot. We're gonna do one more. Bend the knees into the belly, and then take them over to the right. So keep the knees as close in towards the belly and chest as you can. Now, bend the right arm, so the right elbow is on the ground, the right triceps on the ground. Extend the left leg into a diagonal. Take your right hand and prop your right inner shin in your hand. So lift up this into more of a diagonal. Yeah. And think of lengthening that tailbone, softening those left ribs so we're not arching in the low back. Good, and then bend the knee, come back in, knees to knee to chest, and then over to the other side, drawing in as close as you can. Huh. Bend the left elbow, so you're like a, the left forearm is up. Extend the right leg at a diagonal. Take the left hand, grab the inner right shin. Right arm can reach out or be where it needs to be, and then you're really softening in those right ribs, breathing into that right side and then lengthening the tailbone. And then coming back to center. Woo. Bring the feet down. Knees bent, feet hip width apart, and just sequentially roll up and down the spine, engage the glutes. Up and down. Keep those glutes activated, front body knitted, so don't let the belly pop or the ribs pop. One more time. And then straighten one leg and then the other. Bring the arms at a low, wide V. Shavasana. Now we're only going to stay here for a brief moment. So if you'd like to turn off the video and stay longer, by all means, and then you can come back and turn on the video. And then bring the legs closer together, keeping them straight. Reach the arms up overhead to the floor behind you. As you inhale, lengthen the tailbone towards your heels and feel the ribs move away from the pelvis towards your armpits. And exhale, release. Bending one knee and then the other. Rolling to the side or rolling up to a comfortable seat. Just close your eyes, and when you're here, feel that zip of the pubic bone zip up, knit the ribs, hug around the sit bones, and feel the connection of the back of the skull, shoulder blades, and sacrum. Notice if you have more freedom and more space in your hips. When we align the spine in a more neutral position, we give our pelvis the ability to move in the way that it's supposed to, our hips to be able to move in the way it's supposed to, the ranges of motion that we can do is enhanced. And so we are able to move more effectively and efficiently. Feel free to bring your hands to heart center. Ginny, in one word, how are you feeling in your body? Open. Heather? Free. Greg? Strong. There you have it. Take a deep breath in and exhale. It's with much love and gratitude that I say namaste. I love you, my friends. Thank you. Namaste. namaste.